So in this video, we're looking at the area of a trapezium. Uh, this is slightly more complicated just in terms of what the formula looks like, but it's really quite simple once you get into it. Uh, now the area of a trapezium, first of all, what is a trapezium? Uh, you'll notice that the base and the top are different lengths, one, but they're still parallel. They run alongside each other like that. Now the sides, either side, they angle in towards the top. Uh, obviously if it was upside down, they'd angle in towards the bottom. The point is they angle in towards each other like that. Uh, you could also think of a trapezium as a triangle that's had the top cut off it. That triangle would meet up there somewhere. All right, so that's what a trapezium is. First of all, uh, need to do a little bit of labeling so we can think a little bit about what it works. I'll label the top as A and I'll label the bottom as B. So short side here I'm going to call A, bottom side here I'm going to call B. Uh, we also need to think of the height and when I talk about height I mean the distance directly from the bottom to the top. Okay, so there's our height, I'll just call that H for now. So we have an A, we have a B, we have a H. And the formula for the area of a trapezium, area equals height times a plus b divided by 2. Uh, you'll see this formula written in a variety of different ways, but this is the easiest way I've found to write it. Height times a plus b all divided by 2. Okay, let's work our way through it. Uh, now I'll put some numbers in. Uh, we'll call a equal to 3, we'll call b equal to 6, and we'll call h equal to 4. Okay, so A is 3, B is 6, H is 4. Just put it into the formula. So area equals H A plus B divided by 2. Okay, let's put it all into the formula. H is equal to 4, so the 4 goes there. A is equal to 3. B is equal to 6. And all of that's going to be divided by 2. Now, you'll notice that there's a 4 no space and then a bracket, that means that there's a multiply sign in there. So it's four times three plus six divided by two. So that's gonna be four times three plus six, which is nine, and then that's divided by two. You can type that into your calculator just like that with the brackets and everything. Uh, and you'll end up with an answer of 18 centimeters squared. Uh, assume them, they're centimeters there. Okay, so there's the area of that trapezium. Uh, just quickly, I'll run through one more. Uh, four, six, and give it a height of three. Uh, better choose some different numbers. Uh, let's call it seven, ten, and five. Okay, so the formula area equals H A plus B divided by two. And then just write your numbers in. H is equal to 5, A is equal to 7, B is equal to 10, and that's all going to be divided by 2. Okay, you can just type that directly into your calculator just like how I've written it there. And you'll get something like 425 uh, let's go for something different. Let's call it meters. Everything's meters. 7 meters by 5 meters by 10 meters. Uh, so it's 42.5 meters squared. Okay, that's finding the area of a trapezium. The formula is a little more complicated than the other ones that we've done. Uh, but once you just throw some numbers in there, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it.